Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Testing fighter aircraft is critical for ensuring pilot safety and the plane's performance. Even though we have advanced computer software that can simulate many scenarios, there's no substitute for testing aircraft in real-world conditions. To do this, special rooms called anechoic chambers are used. These chambers are designed to stop sounds or electromagnetic waves from bouncing back as echoes, creating a space that mimics being outdoors in an open field. This setup is crucial for accurately testing how aircraft behave in real situations. The idea of anechoic chambers was first developed for sound testing, but is now expanded to include testing for radio waves and sonar. Depending on what's being tested, these chambers can be as small as a microwave or as big as a hangar. Originally built to test the B-2 bomber, the Benefield Anechoic Facility at Edwards Air Force Base stands out as a landmark achievement. It's named in honor of Tommy Douglas Doug Benefield, a test pilot who tragically lost his life in a crash. This facility, the largest of its kind globally, features a massive 80-foot turntable at its center, which is one of its key characteristics. It's designed for various tests, from electronic warfare systems and avionics to missiles. By creating a controlled environment that mimics real-world electromagnetic conditions, the Benefield Anechoic Facility is an essential tool in verifying the safety and effectiveness of fighter aircraft. Radio frequency energy, or RF energy, is everywhere. It's in the music from radios, calls on our cell phones, and many other daily uses we often don't even consider. This energy is a big part of modern life helping us learn, communicate, and connect. But it's not all good. Enemies could use RF energy against us. That's why it needs to be protected. And this is where electronic warfare comes in. EW is all about controlling and using radio frequencies to our advantage. The BAF is a unique spot. This place lets the Air Force simulate real battle environments to test their gear, like how RF energy interacts with aircraft. It's a controlled space where they can mimic the threats aircraft might face in a battle, but without the high costs of testing in the actual open sky. The BAF is huge, can fit almost any aircraft, and is equipped with all sorts of tech to test various aspects of electronic warfare. It's like having an open-air test range, but indoors. Testing here is efficient, saving time and money, but still getting the job done right. It's become a key tool in ensuring today's complex weapon systems work well together. The work done at the BAF is now more crucial than ever as military tech keeps advancing. That was a brief look at how aircraft electronic warfare systems are rigorously tested to ensure they're up to par. But what about the engines that power these advanced machines?
Testing propulsion systems is equally crucial to ensure aircraft can meet the demands of modern warfare and commercial aviation. This brings us to the Aero Propulsion Systems Test Facility. Located at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex, the ASTF is a premier national resource dedicated to the cutting-edge testing of aircraft propulsion systems. The facility, owned by the United States Air Force and operated by National Aerospace Solutions, offers a remarkable capability, simulating actual mission environments for propulsion systems without the need to take to the skies. The ASTF can replicate conditions at altitudes of up to 75,000 feet, in speeds reaching Mach 2.3. It can handle engines rated for up to 100,000 pounds of thrust. This is possible through its air supply compressors, which can deliver 1,500 pounds of air per second into the test cell, simulating air speeds of up to 1,800 miles per hour. These compressors boast 215,000 horsepower and are kick-started by one of the world's most significant variable frequency starting systems. Moreover, an extra 960 pounds per second of airflow can be sourced by drawing outside air directly into the test cell, providing additional flexibility for various testing scenarios. Propulsion systems are tested under precisely controlled conditions. Thanks to large combustion air heaters capable of burning diesel or waste aviation fuel and generating up to 1 billion BTU per hour, inlet air can be heated up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The exhaust gases from these tests are cooled down to 200 degrees Fahrenheit through direct contact water spray. with further cooling and cleaning reducing temperatures to below 150 degrees Fahrenheit before they're released. This level of control and capability ensures that propulsion systems can be tested and evaluated comprehensively, ensuring they perform reliably in actual flight conditions. This embodies the pinnacle of aerospace testing and innovation. Like aircraft, missiles undergo rigorous testing and performance evaluations to ensure their readiness for operation in contested environments. These critical tests are conducted at the White Sands Test Center, located within the White Sands Missile Range Post Area. The center boasts specialized branches for manned tactical systems and electromagnetic radiation, pivotal in missile testing and range recovery operations. Additionally, the facility is renowned for its capabilities in testing advanced hypersonic missiles propelled by scramjet engines. A scramjet, or supersonic combustion ramjet, represents a sophisticated ramjet engine that maintains combustion in supersonic airflow. Unlike traditional ramjets that slow incoming air to subsonic speeds using shock cones, Scramjets utilize shock waves generated by the ignition source to compress the air without decelerating it to subsonic velocities. This innovative design allows scramjets to function efficiently at extraordinarily high speeds, marking a significant advancement in missile propulsion technology. Weight distribution testing is also conducted in the same facility. Through its comprehensive testing facilities and broad scope of operations, including those for precision-guided munitions and electronic countermeasures, the White Sands Test Center ensures that missiles remain at the forefront of modern warfare capabilities, prepared to meet the challenges of tomorrow's contested environments.
Apart from propulsion and EW, the ejection seat system is another important aircraft system responsible for saving a pilot's life. If that system doesn't work, it can make a difference between life and death. Recognizing the critical nature of this system, the Holloman High Speed Test Track in South Central New Mexico plays a pivotal role in ensuring its reliability. The HHSTT serves a wide array of defense and governmental agencies, including the branches of the U.S. military and the Missile Defense Agency, along with American allies. Its mission is to provide a cost-effective and dynamic test environment that is more controlled and less expensive than full-scale flight tests. allowing for detailed post-test evaluations. This facility is renowned for its unique rail system, which launches rocket-powered sleds for high-speed tests of weapons, systems, and components, including ejection seat mechanisms. With rails that constitute the straightest track system ever laid, extending over 50,917 feet, and meticulously maintained to ensure precise alignment, the HHSTT can simulate various flight conditions from subsonic to hypersonic speeds. This is crucial for testing the durability and performance of ejection seats and other critical components under realistic conditions. Additionally, the facility's 6,000-foot rain field studies the erosive effects of rain on materials which is vital for assessing the resilience of ejection seat systems and other components in varied weather conditions. The HHSTT is also exploring the future of testing by developing a magnetic levitation, or maglev system, to simulate flight-like vibration environments unachievable on traditional tracks. This innovation underscores the facility's commitment to advancing the safety and performance of vital aircraft systems, ensuring that pilots are equipped with reliable life-saving technologies in every mission. In addition to the role in testing aircraft safety systems, the Holloman High Speed Test Track extends its capabilities to the realm of high-speed vehicles, including the testing of hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic weapons defined by their ability to travel from Mach 5 to Mach 25, or approximately 1 to 5 miles per second, represent the cutting edge of current military technology. The HHSTT's sophisticated testing infrastructure is uniquely equipped to handle the extreme conditions associated with these velocities, making it an invaluable asset for defense research and development. A prime example of the facility's capabilities is demonstrated through the impact testing of ballistic missiles. For these tests, a ballistic missile which could potentially carry a nuclear warhead in operational scenarios is fitted with a module designed to replicate the warhead's structural integrity for testing purposes. This module is placed on a test stand and, on the other side, four rocket boosters are attached to the rear of a dummy impact head. The boosters propel the impact head to the desired speed, effectively simulating the missile's impact under real-world conditions. This testing method is essential for assessing the performance of ballistic missiles upon impact providing invaluable data that can be used to refine the design and enhance the effectiveness of such weapons. The capability to simulate these high-speed impact scenarios ensures that the United States remains at the forefront of hypersonic and ballistic missile technology, ready to confidently meet the challenges of modern warfare. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.
See you next time.